Niall, I know you wanted to, to talk about this. You weren't in studio last night and, and, and Brian played uh, his tribute to uh, Alan McLaughlin after his, his sad passing um, at the age of 54. Um, a man whose contribution for Ireland brings back so many memories for, for most of us, but I imagine especially for, for people like you who soldier with them with the Republic of Ireland. Yeah, Alan was a brilliant lad who um, really added to the dressing room when he came in to Jack Charlton's setup. Came in at the last minute in 1990 at the airport. None of us had really met him before then. I played a B game with him, but hadn't, hadn't had much to do with him. And, and he arrived on the scene in 1990, took Gary Waddock's place famously. And uh, I'll never forget, he went around to every player uh, when he arrived in, in Rome for the World Cup in 1990 and he said, look, I know you guys are feeling for Gary Waddock, but I want to be part of you and I'm more Irish than you could possibly imagine. And, and it was a stirring thing to do. And from that moment on, he played a huge part in our dressing room. Um, he played like he lived. He supported people. He kept things simple. Uh, he was always trying to help. And his game was about doing the right thing at the right time. But so too was, was him as a lad. You know, he was... He was always part of the gang, but would go a little bit further than everybody else to make sure other guys were OK, welcoming new people into the squad. Um, just an all in all, when you add it up, brilliant guy who was unsung in many ways because uh, he didn't have the flashy moves that some players had. But his work rate on the pitch mirrored the type of fella he was. He couldn't just let you down. He had to do the right thing. And he was a very, very serious operator. Um, who brought so much to it and all of us are, are you know, to speak to one or two of the lads. I spoke to him a couple of weeks ago myself and I can't believe it's, it's happened so quickly to him. He wasn't well, of course, but uh, the shock is, is huge. And to a man, I think all of the lads, I spoke to a few of them from the team, we're, we're a little bit shell-shocked because mm. uh, he's, he's the first of that core to go. Uh, talk about doing the, the right thing at the right time. I mean, the goal against Northern Ireland... Is, is what stands out. I mean, you were there that night. We were, we were, some of us were watching on TV. Some of us think, Brian, you were in, in, in the grounds there. I mean, what a, what a legacy to leave, what a memory to leave in people's hearts. Absolutely, yeah, to come in and do that and make sure that, that, that we got ourselves on, on a famous trip to America. It was incredible, really. And all I can remember about the goal is I, I was coming out to Alan McLaughlin, who was going to hit it from about 30 yards to, or 25 yards, who didn't normally do it. And I think I ducked to get out of the way <laughs> in case he mishit it and hit me. I think this, the shots will show you that if you ever see it. But um, it was a, a monumental moment and probably the most incredible game of football I was ever involved in for political reasons as well as sporting reasons. And uh, for him to, to send us on our way, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great legacy, but he was far more than that. He was, mm. he was a really important member of the squad and uh, that squad is hurting now. You know, Jack and Morris passing earlier on, uh, you know, in, in the last while and uh, for Alan to go now, it's tough. Yeah, and a great family man as well. Brilliant he leaves the family um, behind him. Uh, sad passing at uh, just the age of, of 54.